The only way to learn is to talk. Hi there, and welcome to Speak English with Ed. In today's video, we're going to be talking about single and plural nouns in basic English, in basic English. So this is not a high level, this is a basic level English. Now it's best to watch this video all the way through, then stop it, go grab yourself a drink, a little cup of coffee. I've got a cup of coffee. Grab yourself a coffee and then come back and watch it again with a notebook. You'll need a notebook. I've got my notebook here. I have my notebook all the time and I use it all the time. You should be using your notebook all the time. So, I'm Ed from Speak English with Ed and we give tips, tricks, help and information to ESOL speakers who are looking to uh, pass the CELT examinations to, uh, to satisfy UK VI requirements so they can get a visa uh, to come and settle in the UK. So if that's you, well then you're in the right place because today we're going to be talking about uh, plural and single countable nouns uh, that are going to help your everyday conversations. Let's jump straight in and get started. One thing that you've got to understand right at the beginning is that singular means one. Just one, no more, just one. And plural means two, three, four, ten, twenty. It means more than one. Any number, any number, right up to billions, millions, hundreds of thousands, but more than one. Any number more than one. You need to understand that. And we're also going to be talking about nouns. So, uh, what these things that we're going to be talking about. What are nouns? Nouns are people. They're places. They're objects. Things. Things that you can touch. Things that you can name. If you can name it, it's a noun. If it's got a name, it's a noun. So... Things like um, my microphone, the computer, the camera, my cup, my cup. This is a noun because you, it's got a name, so it's, it's a noun. Now, some things you can, you can count. Things like you can count the cups, right? You can count the cups, but you can't count what goes inside it, not in... Uh, at the moment because I've got coffee in here now you can't have two coffees you can have two cups of coffee but you can't have two coffees you can't count water you can't have two water but you can count two bottles of water two cups of water two glasses of water but you cannot count the actual water so we're talking about Countable nouns here. Countable nouns. Okay. So, singular, as we've said, means one. Just one. No more. Just one. If it's one, it's singular. If it's singular, it's one. And plural. Now, plural means two or more buses. Two or more. But more than one. But you, that's the difference between two. And I want you to understand that concept. One is singular. Plural is more than one. So when we refer to nouns, when we speak of the numbers, we talk about one cup as a cup. A cup. Uh, or the cup. The cup. If it's just one, it's the cup. Uh, these are... Articles. A and the are articles. We can have a bus. We can have a dog. We can have a police officer. We can have an orange. All these are singular nouns because we're talking about just one. Now you may say, or if you're not sure why orange says an orange and all the rest say a bus, a dog, a 
police officer. Then check the link at the top of this screen because it will take you to um, a video where we talk about articles and we talk about the articles a, an and the. Link at the top of the screen. So, uh, plurals when are two or more. We've already established that plurals are two or more. And when we refer to them, we say the number followed by a noun. We say two buses. We say three dogs. We say four police officers. And we say ten oranges or however many. We're <laughs> not just specifically talking about these numbers because it depends how many there are. But we put the number first and then the name of the noun, the noun. Now, you may notice that um, when we come to plural nouns, we've got a, a different ending. They end differently. Where we say a dog, we say dogs. We've added an S. Where we say police officer, we say officers. We've added an S. Same with orange. We say oranges. We've added an S. The S goes at the end of the noun. But you may notice on buses, we've added ES. We've added ES to make it bus as. Bus as. But most, most um, nouns that you use will end in S. Right? just s but what's the difference why have we put s on some and es on others why what's the difference well it all depends on the ending of the noun some nouns get uh, the way that they end some nouns get es and some of them simple old plain old s so, most nouns that you will come across are made plural by just adding S. Cars. Car becomes cars when you make it plural. Dog becomes dogs. Umbrella becomes umbrellas. You just add an S. Mountain becomes mountains. Idea becomes ideas. Just add an S. But when you've got a noun that ends, uh, some nouns that end in S, uh, some nouns that end in SS, nouns that end in SH or CH or X, all of these we add ES. So that's S, SS, SH, that's SH, and CH, CH. All these endings we add ES. So bus ends in an S, so we add ES, and it becomes buses, buses. We have class, you know, go to English class. We add, it ends in two S's, S, S, S. So we add E, S, classes, classes. S, H, words that end in S, H, like marsh. Marsh is a boggy area, a wet area of moorland, marsh. We say the marshes, marshes, ends in ES to make it plural. Church, church, lots of churches in England. So we say church churches, churches, add the ES to make it plural. Fox, 
Now, fox, some people like foxes, some people don't like foxes. Whatever way you are, if you're talking about one, you say fox. And if you're talking about two, you say foxes. Foxes. You must add the s at the end. And taxes. Now, nobody likes taxes. We all hate taxes, but we have them to pay. So you pay your income tax or you pay your taxes uh, as they become due. So you must add ES and you must pronounce as at the end. Uh, buses, classes, marshes, churches, foxes and taxes. The same with the uh, single ones, where, you, where the ones where we've added an uh, S, just a single S at the end. Cars, cars, dogs. Some of these have got a S type sound, as in cars, cars. And dogs have got a Z type sound. Z, you put teeth together, Z where the cars uh, isn't umbrellas, umbrellas, mountains, mountains, ideas, ideas. So you must pronounce the um, pluralization at the end, which is going to be S or ES. So it's going to be S, S, S or Z or Z at the end, depending on the word, but you must pronounce it to make the person that you understand, uh, that you're talking to, understand that um, it's you're talking about more than one plural. Because if you say, there are six car, you will really confuse the mind of uh, someone, of an English speaker, who is used to hearing six and hearing the s at the end. They're used, we're used to it, and it jars it, something's not right. Are you talking about one? Are you talking about six? I don't know. It confuses people, so you must pronounce the s on a plural. And same with buses, buses, you must pronounce buses. You can't say there are one buses, you must get it right. It's either a bus or buses. If there's more than one, it's buses. If there's just one, if you're waiting for a bus, then it's just bus. But if you're waiting for the buses to come, then you say z at the end. So it is important that you understand which ones go where. So uh, when, when this video is over, as I said, stop the video, go and have a cup of coffee, come back with your notebook, and your pen. Write these down, make a note of them so that you can understand and you've got S, 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 H, C, H and X. All these have E, S added. So, buses, classes, marshes, churches, foxes, all you must add the ES or else we won't know what you're talking about. Okay, so let's have a look. We're going to have a bit of practice. So I want you to practice. I'm going to put a sentence up and I want you to tell me uh, whether it should be just in its plural form, whether it should be uh, an S added or ES. So here we go. This is a green something came first. So the something is going to be either a bus, uh, a bus with an S added, or a bus with ES added. Which one do you think is going to be? Right, well, it's a bus. It's a bus because we're saying a bus. A is one. If you remember, singular, we use, we talk about one with a or the, but um, in this case, it's a green bus came first. So next one, can I have four red somethings, please? 
So the some things are apples. Uh, is it apple without any pluralization? Is it apple with an S or apple with ES? Have a think. Apple with uh, without anything, just apple. Or is it apples with an S or is it an apples with ES? Well, it's apples with an S because it doesn't have uh, an S at the end. It doesn't have SS. It doesn't have SH. It doesn't end in CH and it doesn't end in X. So uh, you just add an S. So the next one. I saw two somethings in the field. Now, what can you see in a field? What could there be? Well, fox. I saw two. Is it fox? Just singular fox? Is it fox with an S on the end? Or is it fox with ES on the end? Which one of these is it? Fox, fox with an S, fox with an ES. It's fox as because it's got an X at the end. The word ends in an X and fox has got a S type sound. So you need fox as. You can't say it fox. It's it's hard to say. It's not. It's difficult to say. So you would say fox as. You add an es. And same with all the other s sounding endings as well. So the next one. David has two something. Now, what could David have two of? David has two camera. David has two camera with an s. Or David has two camera with an ES. Which one is it? Which one are you going to pick? Pick one. Well, it's just camera with an S because there isn't an S sound uh, at the end of the word. It's camera. -s. So, um, two somethings came together. Two something came together. Now, two Bus. Is it bus? Singular bus? Is it bus with an S? Or is it bus with an ES? Which one are we going to put in here? Bus? Bus with an S? Or bus with ES? Well, actually, it's bus as. Bus with an ES. They came together. Because bus... And that's spelt wrong. There's a spelling mistake there. Can you spot the spelling mistake? Yes, the bus should just have one S. I apologise for that. Um, that's a, a typing mistake, uh, an error. That's an error. I apologise for that. So um, that's one down for me. So really and truly, whether you put S or ES, it all depends on the ending sound of the noun. If it sounds S type sound, then you add ES. If it doesn't, then you add an S. Now, the, these are not the only rules. There are more rules to apply. We, we, we'll have a look at these uh, in a, another video. Um, different rule endings, word endings for words that end, some different ones for ending in S and Z and F, F, E, Y, O, U, S and, and there's more. There's different endings to look at uh, as we progress and we, we look more into um, plural and singular nouns that we take a look at. Plus, some words some some words nouns they don't change at all they stay the same such things as um, sheep sheep you can have one sheep or you can have two sheep or three sheep or a flock of sheep um, they they don't ch change with pluralization um, things like shrimp or moose they don't change with or grapefruit even grapefruit doesn't change we can have one grapefruit or you can have five grapefruit 
they don't change you don't add an s at the end of grapefruit and some others uh they've got <laughs> they've got words that change completely um such things as feet foot foot is singular feet is plural it's a different word um teeth and tooth tooth is singular and teeth is plural but it's an entirely different word altogether so there's lots of things to look at uh, as we can progress in another video or more videos uh, as we look further in depth into singular and plural nouns but this is a basic understanding i want you to get a basic understanding of plural uh, versus singular nouns so in summary what have we discovered we discovered that that nouns are countable you can count some and you can't count others you can um you can count things like cups but you can't count water so you can't you can have uh, two cups of water but you can only have water it's not countable uh, and they can be either countable nouns can be either singular or plural because there's either one or there's more than one the singular form takes the base name of the noun always takes the base name of the noun so one cup one microphone one mouse pen whatever they all just take the base name of the noun uh, most nouns need to be changed to make them plural not all but most nouns need to be changed to make them plural we've looked at ways to do that by adding s and es in this video most nouns uh it just says here most nouns can be made plural by adding s or es there are other endings that can change uh, in different ways so like with as we said uh, f fe um o etc there's there's a few others uh, that we're going to look into later videos so the way that you identify how to change a plural is by looking at the way the noun ends the ending the sound at the ends um if it's a, a s sound you've got to add es if it um, it is just an ordinary sound then uh, you add um, s to make it into a plural until we get to the other ones and then we'll learn a little bit extra so there is more to come stay tuned there's more to come so i hope that you've uh, taken some benefit from this video i really hope that you've taken some benefit and it's helped you to understand more about pluralization of nouns how to make uh, nouns singular and how to make them plural i hope you've understand that if you have gained something from this video which i really hope you have and you're gaining something from all the videos then please give us a thumbs up and um if you've not subscribed already then hit the subscribe button just down here and ring the bell to make sure that youtube will let you know when we release new videos so um, that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your uh, taking the time to watch this video. And if there's anything that I can help you with, anything at all, please leave your comments in uh, questions, comments or whatever in the comment section below this video and I will answer. Or you can email me at ed at noxted.com and I will get back to you. So until the next time, I say take care, stay safe and practice, practice, practice. Bye.